Calling for peace and unity, Joe Biden became the nation's 46th president, acknowledging the political divisions that separate people and the deadly pandemic hurting people who were already struggling economically. WBZ's political analyst John Keller joins me now live. John, right out of the gate, how does he handle these two simultaneous challenges? Well, uh, let's talk a little bit about overarching style here, Lisa. You know from your years uh, in Washington that there's an inside game and an outside game. Biden is a consummate inside game schmoozer. I interviewed him years ago, 20 seconds into the interview, he was calling me Johnny Boy. So he knows how to play that game. As far as the outside game goes in his speech today, the new president said politics doesn't always have to be a raging fire, right? Well, okay, then don't throw logs on that fire. If there's dirty work to be done in the rhetorical push and pull, let surrogates do it. Lay a little bit low. Lisa, I'll bet you there are even many Republicans who, after four years of Trump, would like a little less of the President of the United States in their face and in their daily news diet. Okay, so to that end, John, is the political unity that he spoke about so often today that he wants us to work toward as a nation, is that achievable in the current climate? You know, I think on certain issues, absolutely it is. You mentioned the pandemic. Uh, now that the nation's number one mask scoff law is gone, uh, I think it's worth trying again. And, of course, Biden has said he wants uh, every American to wear a mask for the first 100 days, and he's going to mandate it in federal buildings and on federal property. So on issues like that, it's, it's not against anyone's political interests to bring this pandemic to a swift end and get the economy going again, not to mention st uh, slowing and stopping the loss of life. On other issues, it's going to be tougher. But you know what? One thing he can do, and he alluded to this in his speech today, crack down on all of the lies that exacerbate political division and make it hard to reach consensus on anything. That means working with the social media giants to continue to clean up their act and maybe cracking down a little harder on the foreign purveyors of disinformation. If Biden can do all that, I think he can get a lot done, Lisa. All right, John Keller, live in Washington for us this evening. John, thanks.